Hey, welcome back. I'm Kelly with Signature Solar, and today we're going to talk about how to apply your own ends to your battery cables. You may have received an indoor wall mount battery from Signature Solar or from somewhere else, and you're wondering how to apply your own ends. Sometimes you receive a battery cable that may have a dead send connector and may have a raw end on the other side, and you need to apply a battery lug, or you may need to apply your own Degson connector. That's what we're gonna help you with today. We've got two sets of two aught cables. One is a standard stranded wire. The other one is an ultra fine wire, and they each require their own tips and tricks on how to apply their own ends. So we're gonna talk about those in detail today and hopefully this will help you either be able to apply your own lugs to connect a battery cable to your inverter or to be able to parallel your own cable or maybe extend your cables to be longer than what the cables are that are provided. We'll go ahead and start with the standard stranded wire. Um, when you're using two aught wire as we are, you can use the same size two aught lug it should fit directly over the wire. We have gone ahead and stripped our wire by measuring the size of the lug. You notice it starts to go in, so we measured to where we should strip based on where it starts to fade in. So we marked it and stripped it. And then you will wanna carefully make sure all of your wires can fit inside of the lug, making sure that all of them fit right inside. If any of them start to straight outside. You'll want to start over and carefully push them inside of the lug until they fit. Now one thing we didn't do is before you put your lug on you'll make sure and want to put your heat shrink on so that once you crimp your lug you'll already have your heat shrink ready to go. Sometimes when you crimp it's hard to get the heat shrink on before that. So um, let's Go ahead and show you how to strip your wire, put your heat shrink on, and we'll crimp this lug here. We have um, two sets of wire cutters here for the larger gauge wire. Um, this one sometimes may not be quite as large as we want it, and then we have some ratcheting ones here. So we can put this around. We'll cut it where we want it, the length that we need it to be. We'll measure where we want to strip it. We'll mark it. And I am actually not left-handed, so I'm gonna swap this around once I've marked it. You don't want to cut into the wire, so you're just trying to cut into the insulation. So we'll get our heat shrink. I like to use the same heat shrink that is the same color as my wire. Now when we go to crimp this, I have a hydraulic crimper. This crimper comes with different die sets. And this one is a 95, which is actually the same metric set if you do the conversions for a 3-aught wire. The actual conversion for 2-aught wire is a 70. So we'll change this out. 70. 70 millimeters is what that ends up being. Put a 70 in the bottom and 70 on top. We'll turn this to where it'll be tight to crimp. 
place this down and lock it in. And you should be able to crimp this until the die is, the top die is totally against the bottom die. Make sure your wire is all the way up against your lug. And this hydraulic crimper is nice because it doesn't require a whole lot of strength. You don't have to have a hydraulic crimper, but this one is easy for somebody like me to use. And it does a good job. We can release it. See, so you've got a good crimp. It's not pulling off. And then we can move our heat shrink up. And this is lined. Right. So we'll hold this in place until we start to see the glue seep out of the top and the bottom, and then we'll know it's got a good seal. And we've applied the lug to the standard stranded wire. Now applying the lug to the ultra fine wire is slightly different because as you can see, because of the fine wire, it's a lot harder to get it into the two aught lug. And so one of the tips that we recommend is to go with the next lug up. We don't sell a three aught lug, uh, but if you could find a three aught lug, that would be great to use. A four aught lug is the one that we sell and so it's the one that we recommend. Um, and you can get your stranded wire, your ultra fine stranded wire into the four out lug really easily. And it doesn't affect your impacity or anything um, when you're using that. So we're gonna use the four out lug today. Before we apply this, we're of course going to use our heat shrink. One, one thing I will mention also, that as we strip this wire, it is a lot thinner than the standard wire. So um, it's a lot easier to strip. Um, and with the four out lug, you, do, you are stripping just a little bit more off of it, but you don't have to go as deep. So just be a little bit more careful as you're stripping this wire. We'll apply our heat shrink. We'll be careful to get this ultra fine wire into the four out lug. You can just take your time and work with your strands. Here we go. Now I've got the, the four aught lug and I have the 70 millimeter die, so I need to change that. I'm gonna use 120. And it's the same process once we get to this point. So we've got one crimp, I'm gonna go ahead and put one more. And there's your crimp for your two watt ultra fine wire. We can go ahead and put our heat shrink on. And we're looking for the lining of the glue to come out both the top and the bottom. Now our desk and connectors are much the same. If we connect, disconnect this one on the manufactured end, you can see that it just unscrews. And so this would be our end cap. And we've got a compression sleeve inside this end cap that keeps it all nice and waterproof. And then we've got a crimped end, much like, much like our, our lug here. And so this is all that we're doing that's just a little bit different with our compression sleeve and our end cap. You can see they're nice and crimped in a round way. One of the things, because these are the ultra fine sleeves with a two-aught cable, if you use a two-aught crimp, you can have the 
sides that come out with a two-aught crimp that make it to where the compression sleeve and the end cap make it difficult to screw on. And sometimes they're crimped so tight that they have sharp edges that they can even cut your compression sleeve and your cap to where you lose your waterproof seal. And so we want to actually go one up on our lugs so that we're not using the two-aught crimp. We're actually using um, a three-aught crimp. So instead of a 70, we're gonna use a 95, which is the uh, metric equivalent to a two-aught crimp. And one of the ways you can tell if you're using the right one is you can look at the manufactured end So I've got two 95s here, which are a three-aught, and I can, can put them around the manufactured end and see how well they fit around the manufactured end to see if that's the one that's gonna give me the nice round crimp that will allow everything to slide up nicely around it. So if I use the 70, which is the two-aught crimp, can see these don't very nicely fit. And this is the crimp that was actually used to give this more of a cobra type neck here. And that's not what we want. So we're gonna go up one to a three-aught crimp on this two-aught Dexon connector. So we're gonna cut this one off and show you how to apply a Dexon connector. When you order these from Signature Solar right now, you can get these for about 20 bucks. And if you actually order the indoor wall mount battery, you get two sets of cables. If you connect these to a 6K, you only need one set of cables so you could essentially make your own set of paralleling cables without having to purchase a paralleling kit. So you actually get um, a battery input, a battery cap, and your Detson connector with the end cap, the compression sleeve, and your connector in that you will crimp. So let's cut this one off and let's apply a new one. Again, you can see we've got the ultra fine threads, so we're gonna go ahead and strip this end. We can go ahead and take these off and use our new ones because we have new ones. We'll go ahead and put these on so we don't forget. These fingers will go at the bottom. And we'll go ahead and strip it as far as that metal piece there. So remember, these are thinner, so we don't have to strip it as far. And carefully get all of these strands up inside. And because this is a two-aught, we're gonna go one up to a 95, which is the metric for three-aught. And now you can see that this end looks a lot like the manufactured end. And we can pull up our compression sleeve and screw on our end cap. And because both ends now have a Dexon connector on both ends, we have a paralleling cable. We could have just as easily applied a lug to this end just as we did to the other cable and had a battery to inverter cable.
So hopefully this has helped you to learn how to apply different ends to your own cables, whether you need to ex extend your cable or whether you need to make a, um, apply a lug or a Dexon connector to your cables and you can be as versatile as you need to be with whatever your needs are. I'm Kelly with Signature Solar, where solar is for everyone.